Kai, what does it mean mean to you to be named uh, picked uh, team captain by your teammates? Uh, it's it's a lot of responsibility, you know, and I'm I'm really excited to take that role, and it's my first time. And being a captain for this team, I'm gonna do what I can, and they know that uh, I'll I'll do whatever I can to help this team. Did it surprise you when you were named captain, or how would you take it? I mean, was it a shock? Or well, when we when we voted, a lot of the guys were telling me, "Oh, I voted for you, I voted for you," and I was like, "Oh man, appreciate it." But it's like, make sure you're voting for like who you really want. And everyone was just telling me, "It's like, guy, we want you as one of our captains." And I was really, I was really excited to hear a lot of a lot of the guys telling me that. And it was really cool when coach announced it. What's it like to get to this point? I mean, you get you know finally the game week, and, you know, game on Saturday. I'm excited. I'm ready to roll. You know, we just I think the whole team is ready to go. We've been banging up on each other, and we're tired of hitting each other. So I think it's time to go hit other people. How are your shoulders feel? Great. I haven't had any problems all camp. Once I fixed them, they were good. So I'm ready to roll. Have you guys focused on one quarterback or the other uh, from Arizona who you think you'll face? Uh, no. We've actually been going through both Anu and uh, I think Brian was the other one. Yeah, so we've been looking at both of them for film and even in practice, but we'll be prepared for both. Who's been the scout team quarterback that's kind of emulating those guys? Um, Coy, Coy's been helping us, Coy Demir, and then I forgot. Today we had Bo Tanner was helping us too. I think those are the only two today. You know what? Do you know a new Solomon at all from being from Vegas and all? Yeah, grew up with him, played football with him, and uh, Played uh, against him twice in high school. He played at Bishop Gorman. I played him in the state semi and then in the uh, state championship. Lost both times, but it's all right. <laughs> Get some revenge this game. Yeah, hopefully. <laughs> what are some keys defensively are you playing against a team that plays up tempo like, like uh, Arizona's offense? Um, for us, it's, we're just going to make sure we keep them in front of us. You know, they're going to be moving fast. Their guys are going to be moving fast. We'll be in we'll be in shape for that, so I think I think we'll be fine. How do you feel about the depth of your defense at this point? Good. I think everyone that I've seen that the coaches have put out there, we all look pretty good, you know. Everyone's moving fast, we know our plays, we know our assignments and ready to roll. This is an Arizona offense that's known for putting up a lot of points, mm -hmm. so you know, they're gonna put pressure on you guys. Oh, yeah. You like that challenge to start the start the year? Oh yeah, I love challenges. You know, I always step up to them, and I take them very serious. You know, if someone wants to challenge me to something, I'll give them everything I got. Make sure I leave it on the field, especially for my team. Make sure after the game, I'm like, man, I should have did this, done that. But right after the game, I'll be like, you know, I did everything I could, and no, no regrets at all. As a player, do you like jumping into the fire right off the bat, or would you prefer a so-called easier opponent? No, I, I don't know. This is. Every every opponent I take serious, you know, like even if people are like, oh, they're not as good. Like, you never know what can happen. It's a football game. Everyone's here to play ball, and I take every game as serious as any other team. You know, I think they're all the same. Guys, it's been a long time since Taysom and Jamal have been able to be on the field for a yeah. full game. What's it like having those guys? Uh, they're on the other side of the ball, but having them be back and ready to get going. This feels time. good. You know, and those guys are really excited to be back too. Uh, They've showed it all camp, all off season two. They're ready to get back on the field and show everyone what they still got. Can you imagine going that long between you know being able to play full game for Taysom? It's been almost two years. Jamal, it's been you know year and a half, two years. It's a long time between football games. Yeah, it's it's been a while for both of them, and I don't know. I I, I didn't get to play with them last season. I missed the first game, and that's when he was injured. But you know, he 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 seems confident in coming back, and he seems well rested, well, well healed. And I think he'll be he'll be ready to roll. What kind of feeling does this coaching staff instill headed into this first game? Uh, just ready to wake the beast. You know, everyone just stay calm. You know, focus on what we need to focus on. Don't let outside things get in the way. And just when game day comes, just unleash that beast and let's roll. You played in a lot of venues where BYU's had a lot of fans. Sounds like it's going to be the case this weekend in Arizona. Road game, but with a lot of support. What what difference does it make to have that type of turnout from from Cougar fans on, on in road games? That's a big difference, I think, for us because you know it won't be won't be a lot of cheering for the other team. It'll be whatever we do. It, it'll just feel like a home game, to be honest. 
and a lot of the guys already been talking about it. We're ready to feel the, the energy from the crowd, so it'll be good.